Dear students, let's take a look at the other types of RNA structures that can be formed as a result of this folding process. The folding, just to remind you, is essentially the 3' prime end of the RNA molecule coming towards the 5' prime end and the intermediary regions making hydrogen bonds with the complementary bases. The two previous examples that we have studied are the hairpin loop and the helix. Now we will take a look at another form of the RNA secondary structure. This is called the bulge loop. In this structure, the 3' prime end of the RNA molecule comes towards the 5' prime end and the intermediary nucleotides, they make bonds with each other. However, somewhere in the process, some of the nucleotides, they remain unpaired. Let's see. So if originally a 5' prime and a 3' prime molecule, RNA molecule was to fold and come together in this form. In this figure, you can see two of the nucleotides. They were unable to make bonds with the other nucleotides. However, the RNA was perfectly folded before and after this loop. So this is apparently a bulge in the RNA structure and is therefore called a bulge loop. You must notice that it is not always the case that there are two unpaired nucleotides in the bulge. There may be one, two, three or more. So it all depends on how many nucleotide bases are present and are unpaired in the RNA structure. Okay. So, to summarize, the bulges are formed when the double-stranded region of an RNA molecule cannot bond perfectly and there are some nucleotide bases that are left uncoupled and they appear like a bulge. As I just mentioned, the bulges can be asymmetric depending on the number of nucleotide bases that are uncoupled for that specific bulge. Another type of the RNA structure that we are going to see is the interior loop. These students, as you just saw, the bulge, you may notice that this portion looks similar to a bulge. However, the necessary condition for the bulge was that the other side of the RNA was bonded without any nucleotides that were unmatched. But in this case, as you can see, some of the nucleotides, they are actually unpaired here as well. So this is called an interior loop. On the 5' prime strand, it is possible that there are multiple number of nucleotides that remain unpaired, including 1, 2, 3 or more. And similarly, on the 3' prime end, we can have more than 1 or 2 or 3 or even more nucleotides that are unpaired. So this is just an example of the interior loop. Dear students, so as you just saw these structures, it is necessary to note that these structures are just the template structures in that if the unpaired nucleotide count is different, then the structure will actually appear like an interior loop or a bulge, but its size may be different. 